In this video, I'm here to give you five tips on getting started with your first transfer of bloom swipes. Pouring with the fellas is back with another installment. This time, we are just hanging out. We may not be topless or giving our dad jokes, but we're just gonna have a good time painting and I'm kicking things off for this collab. For this tip, I want you to think about your base color versus the base color that you're using for your swipes. All right, so in this video, I use the same base color. So the gray is the same as my pillow. So when I lay the colors down, um, it looks like I kind of painted them there. There is no right or wrong way to do it, but it's gonna definitely affect the overall look of your piece. All right, <laughs> so this tip is kind of hard to explain, but you have to trust the process. So in my finding, and this is strictly my opinion, when I look at other artists doing transfers, they all start out ugly. There's no other way to put it. You know, you're just putting a little paint here, a little paint there, but it really will come together. The great thing about the transfer swipe is if you don't like something, you can just lay something on top of it. Um, it is very free flowing. You have to go with the flow. Um, it's all about the wrist action. So just, you know, just practice being free. All right. I know it sounds hard, but it really, really does help with this technique.
like to swipe. I like to swipe with my transfers because it gives a multi uh, a multitude of looks for my sales and lacing. If I do one swipe across the canvas and then some transfers on top of it, when I spin it out, I have all these different layers. So it adds depth to the piece and it's familiar for me. So I've been swiping for years. That was one of the first things that I learned um, when I started my channel. I did a lot of swiping. And so that familiar familiarity <laughs> really helps. Um, it can just be a confident booster in the difference of scraping a piece or saying, well, it looks like I got this. Let me just see what happens. And honestly, that's kind of how I felt about this piece at first. I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But I'm actually glad that I kept it. I didn't even get an opportunity to sell it because my mom, um, I happened to see my mom like a day or so after I painted it and she took it with her. She was like, I'm going to just take this. I'm going to just put this on my wall. You don't even have to worry about it. So um, this one is at my parents' house. <laughs> it's really great when you can, when you have a son that can make you free art, right? <laughs> <laughs> But like here, this is not really that pretty, but it actually turned out really cool once I spun it out. Um, and so it's just like, oh, let's just see what happens. But I do like the white. Um, the white is a really good addition. It gives kind of a ghostly look. I'm going to definitely uh, experiment and play around with that a little more here. And with my last couple transfers, you will definitely see a difference. I added more white, um, which gave the piece a little more balance with all the gray. Um, I don't work a lot with uh, earth tones and like really neutral colors. And I'm going to start doing that because that is what people want in their homes. So this tip is... Um, this tip is big for multiple techniques. The more pillow that you put down, in this case, the more you have to spin off or tilt off. So think about that. When you're doing your transfers, you're already stretching the paint. So you're stretching those cells and that lacing. And if you have a lot of pillow paint, you're going to have to stretch it even more to get the paint off so that it will dry and not crack. Hey, so while we're here, make sure you check out the other artists in this collab. Love the guys, man. Sheldon, Dominic, Dave, C, everybody. Just check everybody out. Show some love.
I want to remind you to think about the quality of your paint, your pigment load. You are stretching out these paints way beyond most other techniques. So if you're using a craft paint or a paint that has low pigments, it's likely that you're going to get some uh, striations where you can see the pigment is starting to break up. You might not like that look. I personally don't like it, but to each its own, it's just something for you to consider. Thank you for watching another installment to the Porn with the Fellas collab. Remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I will see you in another video very soon. Peace.